Hello, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we'll be going over the new proposals and estimates feature inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. With the addition of the proposals and estimates tool within High Level, it's becoming more and more simpler to do all of your business management all within the High Level system. The way that you go to it is from the left hand navigation, you're going to click on payments. From payments, you're gonna to go to the second tab, proposals and estimates. Now you're given the choice between both proposals and estimates. They're kind of the same thing and they kind of work exactly like each other. You hit new, now you can send a new estimate, which is, you know, a very basic, you know, like a cost estimate for a client, showing them exactly what you're gonna do. Very, very simple. Or a proposal, and a proposal is basically a long form version of that with terms and conditions and more detailed information about the project. I've already created a new proposal. I've tested it out, made sure it worked correctly. I'm gonna show you how to build an estimate real quick, and I'll show you exactly what happens after it's sent out to the client and the client signs it. So let's start off with a new estimate. I click on new estimate and I receive basically just a blank slate and I can change the wording right here to new estimate for the Crawford company. Now the Crawford company is just a fictitious company that I've come up with for this video. And I can start adding all these different elements to it. It works a lot like the builder inside of our funnel builder. We can add text, images, a video, tables, a product list, have the page break, and of course the signature. And it's super simple to use. For instance, if I bring in the text, we have a heading and we have the text document. On the right, I have properties. I can have different backgrounds and different spacing for that area. It's a lot like a WYSIWYG Word document. I actually find it a little easier to use than certain kinds of Word documents because as a web developer, I enjoy working in this kind of fashion as opposed to Word or Google Docs, which I find to be almost too much options. So we have the ability to change our fonts. We have the different sizes that we can use. We have our different kinds of headings and paragraph and the bold italics underline and so forth to format the text. We can add a bulleted list. We can change the color of our text. We can get rid of the format selected and then we can add custom values. And that's where the real power is. And of course, on the left, we have our undo and redo our save and our send. And all we gotta do is hit save when we're done with it. And we can also add a second page whenever we like. Very, very simple to do. From there, we can also duplicate a page and we can get more information on the page properties, which right now is just the background color. And of course, we can delete the page. Now on the top left-hand side is something that I think is really, really cool. You can add those elements as I showed before. We can add a new page. We can have document variables and we can pull in who the recipient is. Now I'm gonna show you one that I've already built out. In this original one that I've already built, I've already put all this information together and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I added. Because proposals and estimates are often done again and again and again and just basically reused, I've added in here a variable piece of information. This is the contact company name. And all we gotta do to do that is we choose the custom value right here. We would go to our contact, because that's where all the information is for the client, and we could add anything. In this case, I add the company name. Now I can add in, if you go down here, I've added a terms and conditions and a signature. Now that variable has come in as Mark Crawford already based on the signature, but I can put anything in here. I can put his address in here. So all I gotta do is go over here, and I'm gonna put the address of the client right over there. I just hit my return key so I can give a little space in there. I'm gonna click on this custom value. I'm gonna go into the contact. I'm gonna add in the address right there. I'm gonna hit return again. Actually, I'm gonna do shift return so that it's just one space and not a double space. I'm gonna put in the city, comma, state, and then a space, and then the postal code. And that's gonna give me the address of the client. And we're gonna see all this information. I can make all these variables. I can do these, excuse me, these values based out of any custom value that I have in my system. I can add my information in here and I can even add a time factor. So I've added the information that I'm interested in. I formatted this exactly as I wanted it with all the copy. I put in all the things that the client will be getting. I put in their price. I added the terms and condition, and this is basically done. Now this part's really, really important. I can attach this to a specific client. Now I've chosen Mark Crawford here, which is just my dummy one to use, but if I wanted to choose someone else, all I gotta do is click on recipients up here and type in a client name, and then just chosen them. And as you can see, it's immediately changed. And this is now for a different fake client called John Maddox, who has this information right here. And then it would go immediately to him. Now I'm gonna switch it back to Mark Crawford to show you my example. 
and it's set back to the way it's supposed to be. And that's all it takes to make a new proposal or new estimate. When I'm ready, all I gotta do is click save to make sure I keep it. Then I hit preview to make sure it looks exactly as I want it to look, how the client's gonna receive it. You can see that their information is in here, their address that was formatted based upon their custom value. And this is ready to go. And all they've gotta do is sign it. So I'm gonna get rid of this view document because I've already pre-emailed this to myself and I wanna show you that email. Now this email, is a very simple email that just basically asks them to view the proposal. They're going to click to view the proposal. It's going to open up in a separate window. The client's going to read through it. And I'm pretending like I'm this client, which is not for real. Again, this is not a real person. I click on the signature and the client can choose to use any script that they want as their signature or they could draw it. And then just click accept and sign. And then they'll finish. And we'll see a success information here at the top. This makes it far and away one of the simplest things that we can do to keep everything organized within Go High Level and maintain all of our client's information. Now I'm gonna go back to the CRM. I'm actually gonna go to that contact, to that client. And if I type him in here and I click in here, you're gonna see that the proposal is right here and the proposal signed and a copy has been sent to the client. Then I can go back into the payments area, go to the proposals and estimates, and then you can see right here at finalized, this is the finalized proposal and it's been accepted. So I can keep all my contracts all here in one area. And I could have set the value for this and so forth and done a lot more detailed information so that I can see exactly what I'm earning per proposal. So all in all, a great addition to the Go High Level system. If you like this video and you enjoy our content, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more videos on how to use Go High Level. See you in the next video.